Hey everybody, Brennan Queen back with another race weekend vlog. This weekend we are going to be going to the South Carolina 400 at Florence Motor Speedway. It'll be my first race driving for Lee Pulliam Performance. We're out here at the Lee Pulliam Performance um, headquarters, as you can see. Uh, so it's the first race I'm not driving my car in a long time. So super excited. Can't take y'all inside, but I'm here hanging out with the guys. Um, getting ready cars ready so just getting to know everybody and having a good time really looking forward to uh this weekend's race looking for a really strong run we're with a great team and uh, i know we're gonna be fast and have a shot uh so hopefully um we just stay out of trouble and have a have a good time that's the main thing so uh it's gonna be really cool um got a new look for this race so we'll be showing y'all that soon but um looking forward to a great weekend well we had a little bit of a later night last night got the cars loaded up we're here at lpp leap Boy performance getting ready to pull out they got the trailers ready to rock i'm in the queen motorsports van riding solo to this one um it's gonna be fun i mean I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to getting down there. Uh, we got about a three and a half hour drive, I think. Gates open at 11. Pit signings at 10. Practice is 2 to 5 today. So hopefully uh, get a little bit of track time. We're going to be fast. I have a good feeling about it. So um, practice today, practice tomorrow. Qualifying race Saturday. So today is Thursday. So we're going to have a lot of fun once we get down there. What's up guys uh sorry we didn't get to vlog too much yesterday um i was on my own really um nicole will be here tonight but uh basically we had two rounds of 40 minute practice so it went really quick there wasn't really much to document on my end um and we were kind of busy when we got there and uh pretty good first time out with the lpp gang um we were in the top 12 all day out of about 40 cars. Uh, some cars put some new tires on. We didn't. I think we're going to be really good. Uh, I was just, you know, a lot of new things for me to learn. Um, a, lot of, a lot of different things with the car and what I'm used to. So I feel like we did really good for our first day out. I'm looking forward to today. We got practice from like 10 to 2 today. So we're going to get a lot of time, put some tires on. Uh, hopefully uh, be really fast today. So... I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to have a really good shot. And um, the guys, the LPP team brought a really fast car, I feel like, and showing speed. And that's all I can ask for. So hopefully we'll just have a shot and I can make them proud and um, do my job because they did theirs, that's for sure. They brought a good car. We are here, race day, Ooh, vlog, what? 30 degrees. Cold. Um, hey, there's a man right there. What up, man? Come out. Approximately 10 hours later. Take two. All right, sorry about that. We <laughs> saw Mr. Howe. I was going to say hi to Mr. Howe, parts man. But um, we are on the route to pick up Lee Pulliam, the man himself, and his lovely wife. Have a little breakfast. It is 7.30 in the morning here in Very Florence, early. South Carolina. And... Um, yeah, we drew a 36 last night for qualifying, so we'll be going out mid-pack. And uh, yeah, I think we got a good car. Our mock run uh, yesterday did not go well. Uh, had a car, not gonna say much about it. We just had a car uh, race us like we were racing for the 400 win in practice. It messed up our mock run. Uh, thank you, 94. But. Wow, called out. But. Um, <laughs> So, whoa, nice. the sun got in my eyes there. So, uh, yeah, so we're looking forward. Got Nicole down here finally. She got here last night, and she wanted to make another vlog this weekend. So, she's on it. She's the Mildly one. concussed, but I'm here, and we're vlogging. She got hit in the head with a volleyball, and no, I did not throw it at her. <laughs> I was not there. I did not witness it. Listen, this might be the end of my volleyball career, but uh, we're rolling. It's good. I think it is. <laughs> we're pulling on into the state bridge to pick up. Well, we're gonna have breakfast with Lee. Are we having breakfast at the hotel? Yes. Oh my gosh, we're about to hit a car. Oh. Ah! That's a little 
Nick's going to try. It's gonna be a great day. Good day to have a great day. That was a crew chief. Oh. That was, uh, I don't know. He, I don't know. He left. You know what? What's up, everybody? We are back. It is almost race time. This almost. is like the Florence 24 hours <laughs> of Le Mans to Florence. And it's cold. It is cold. She's got her beanie on. Here I go to driver intros across there. The phone service is horrible. It's going all these fans, mostly Dale Jr. fans here, but <laughs> so, we can't post nothing. Oh. I've been trying to open Facebook for hours and I can't even get you know, in the app. You know, you probably should just post and it'll upload later. Just post I can't it. even get in the app. Oh, can't get in the app. The app so that's what's going on now. So Facebook, get it together. Verizon, get it together. So we're going to go to driver intros. We're starting, uh, gosh, no, we made the show. So we were starting 17. We did not have to rate, uh, qualify ourselves in, in the group thing. We locked ourselves in top 20. So... Hopefully we have a um, safe but fast fun race. I think we have a great car. Uh, Nick and Kenyon and the boys have worked hard. We're gonna get it done here for 200 laps. Let's do it. 17. Langley Speedway, Dixieland Late Model Champion from Chesapeake, Virginia. How about it for Butterbee, Brittany Queen? Next starter.
contact on the back stretch. Diaz and Yarbrough touched as they came into turn number three. Diaz to second. Yarbrough to third. Junior to fourth. And Carson Quaffle shuffled up in the fifth spot, trying to hang on to that position with Brendan Queen alongside. Here comes the fast throw shot, Chevrolet. And that's pretty cool to see. The three of Dale Earnhardt Jr. up to fourth. But right behind him, here comes Butterbean Queen trying to mount another charge. Carson Quaffle trying to make the bleeding stop on the outside. Mason Diaz starting to light up. For all of you who have either stayed with us here at Florence or are watching along with us on Flow, first off, happy Sunday. Secondly, we hope these remaining 10 laps live up to the same level of hype that we've had all night long. It's only fitting that it's a 10-lap shootout to figure out who will win the South Carolina 400. It is Brendan Queen, the leader. Carson Quapel second. Then you got Cody Kelly in third spot. And Isabella Robusto trying to play the role of the spoiler up to fourth. 10 laps to settle it. Carson's washing up the hill a little bit here. Queen's trying to maintain pace up top. Queen to the point. Quapo to second, side by side for third with Robusto charging through on the top side. Four laps to settle the South Carolina 400. Brendan Queen brings us back down for the restart. Quapo with the launch though as they head to one. Side by side, coming off at of turn number two. Two young, talented race car drivers battling for the Myrtle Beach and South Carolina 400 here at Florence Speedway. Queen with the edge as he comes to the line with three to go to cement the lead. Queen. Braiding Queen to the lead. Second place, Carson Quapple. Isabella Robusto on the bottom of Cody Kelly. These two have been locked together for the last 10 laps that have been recorded under green. Two laps to go on Virginia's own Brendan Queen. Queen now stretching out that lead just a little bit and even more as Quapple gets loose off of turn number two. Guapo with a big slide there off of turn number two. That's exactly what Brendan Queen needed. The Lee Pullian performance 03 is on his final lap of the South Carolina 400. The kids love Super Mario on the side of the car. This driver is more than just a fancy paint scheme. He's a champion. And what is he going to be now, Eric Brennan? Off of turn number four, the biggest late model stock car win of his young racing life. Brendan Queen wins the South Carolina 400 at Florence. As the fireworks are shot off on the backstretch, the Virginia driver takes the biggest win of his career and his first time in the Lee Pulliam ride for the driver of this 03. Coming into the weekend, Brendan Queen's racing story. Immense talent, much success, three-time Langley Speedway champion. He's had so much dominance in his region of the country, but he was searching for that marquee victory against a stacked field like what he went up against tonight, and he got the job done. The former winner of the big Hampton Heat race, I believe in 2020, uh, is the oath driver this 03, and now the crew surrounding him and giving him the American flag for a pay, uh, for a victory lap here. <laughs> this is going to be a great celebration for this colorful youngster who we spent a lot of time with this weekend. Uh, I got to meet him for the first time after the races at North Wilkesboro. I've been following his career, but uh, what a what a debut with this Lee Pulliam team for this young race car driver out of Virginia. Brandon Queen earlier this year won the late uh, Cars Late Model Stock Tour event at his home track at Langley. This one, though, he takes on the road to Timminsville, South Carolina. He's going to burn down the house despite the damage to the left rear. And the Keen Cup trophy and the trophy for the 30th annual Charlie Powell Memorial South Carolina 400 is going to be going back to Chesapeake, Virginia for Brendan Butterbean Queen. This is going to be as colorful of a victory lane 
as this race deserves because this race was as colorful and as entertaining of a race as we've seen and we deserve an entertaining winner well it may have felt like a bit of a marathon for everybody whether watching along or here tonight but that means that the celebration is going to kick off in a big way here for this driver and his team congratulations coming all the way around several Everybody members back up. of the Everybody pit area <laughs> Jacqueline Drake is down there trackside. We're waiting on Brendan Butterbean Queen to climb out of the car as a South Carolina 400 victor. It is wild down here in victory lane and celebrating Brendan Butterbean Queen. As he's going to unstrap himself from that 03 race car. Receive congratulations from team members. And Lee Poyam, car owner, Brandon Pierce, teammate here in the window. This is going to hand him the American flag. Race fans, put your hands together. For the 30th Charlie Powell Memorial Late Model Stock Winner! <laughs> Brennan, what an emotional win and hard fought by you and the entire team. Multi-time Langley Speedway track champion and finally a marquee win here tonight at florence how does this rank amongst all your other accomplishments thank you thank you thank you thank you uh this is big you know i won a hampton heat and controversy finished against the lpp car and uh first race with these guys they're class act and we're gonna win a lot of races together it's a great way to start it for next year um but another crown jewel this is this is badass uh yeah woo oh man i just can't thank uh lee and his whole organization for bringing me in and what they've done uh nick hudgens and kenyon today for the great calls on this car. This car was on point there at the end when it mattered. Uh, I got to thank uh, Colin, Dave. I'm still learning all the names here at LPP. So everybody that's had a part on this car and uh, in this organization, this is big. They, they needed this. We're trying to put LPP uh, back back up front. Me and Brandon. Brandon had a good run tonight, I, I think. I'm not sure exactly where he finished, but uh, he's a great teammate. I got to thank the man above. I think bestrepair.net, BRC, uh, John State, and Lori, all them. Yeah. Gotta thank my boy Lloyd for spot tonight, our first race together. We end up in victory lane. Oh, I gotta thank Doug, the tire guy. Uh, I gotta thank leadcars.com, old school video games. My girlfriend, Nicole, for all she does on my social media. I mean, this is a big deal. A lot of momentum. Uh, 17th win on the year for us. So, or for me, in my, you know, as a driver this year. So, thanks to Florence Motor Speedway for having us. Um, like I said, Lee Pulliam and them boys are the man. And um, <laughs> where's he at? Lee, Lee, oh, I got to thank John West uh, Racing Engines tonight for this bat of the bone Chevy crate. Uh, David West and all them boys brought a good piece tonight. So uh, for me, new team, new car, track I don't race at a lot, and we not one off the list. Typically a family team before this, and now LPP, which you speak so highly of, what do you expect to come to success for you in 2023? We're going to make a run at that championship uh, in the Cars Tour. So, um, and hopefully a triple crown and a grandfather clock to add to these crown jewel events. So uh, we're positive. We know uh, when we show up, we feel like we can win. And tonight we beat the best. Heck of a race with the Quapple. That was awesome. We were beating and banging. And uh, I'm just glad we got it done. Congratulations to you. And Lenny Batiki, we're going to hand it over for the trophy presentation.
Thanks a lot, Jacqueline Drake. Absolutely amazing race for you, Butterbean. Adam Zirkel with a very custom-made special trophy for you, signifying that you are the South Carolina 400 winner. And that's going to be the first of two trophies. We'll get him to pictures with that. Smiles, photographers, you good? Click to the click. And now we're going to present to you Tom Keen from Keen Parts, the final Keen Cup of the 22 season. Butterbean, you got two of the best trophies in the business wow. here. How you feel? I don't have enough hands. <laughs> At least I got a great organization that can help me hold these at Victor Lake because we're going to get our picture to it. Tom Keen, how about Butterbean? Great driver. Awesome. I, I want to thank everything they've done for this event and to make it the way it is. Uh, you know, short track racing couldn't do it without them, so thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I, I'm used to seeing y'all's logo on Mark Works car every week at Langley. <laughs> so, um, you know, we were just having fun and, uh, you know, trying to represent back home. All right. Congratulations, Brendan Queen, taking the win here at the South Carolina 400, grabbing the final Keen Cup of 2022 presented by CorvetteParts.net. What an amazing night, Matthew, here at the Florence Motor Speedway. And I absolutely love the emotion out of Brendan Butter being queen. And he mentioned the victory he had in 2020 at, Ham at uh, the Hampton Heat at Langley. But it, a lot of those wins, the Cars Late Model Stock Tour win at his home track at Langley yep. Motor Speedway. This was the opportunity for this young star to travel away from home, go up against an all-star field. Several big names did not even make the show. And he was the best of the bunch tonight. Yeah, and you're seeing the best of the bunch with the best of the bunch right there. Lee Pulliam, one of the great greatest late model stock drivers of all time and uh now teamed up with this very talented young man and uh i just love it because i love emotion and tonight we saw emotion we saw drama but you gotta love when you see somebody that just celebrates and it really means something and this kid wears his heart on the sleeve and it's not just in victory it's around the pit area and everybody knows that he's got such a passion got such a great personality and it's been a pleasure to get to know him and some of these people here this weekend that i've never met before not being uh you know entrenched as much in the late model stock world as some and then the truck series guys the mini stock guys legends cars what a weekend here at florence passion is attractive in terms of any type of sport that you may watch, you, you want to root and cheer for someone who is passionate about what they're doing, who they're working with. And I think tonight on a night where there was a lot of eyes on this race, a lot of eyes here in attendance, I think Brendan Queen earned a lot of new fans tonight based on not only his performance on the racetrack, but also just how much this accomplishment means to that team. And they've already got their target set. They've laid down mm -hmm. their goals for 2023. And I think that could be quite the dangerous comp uh, combination for late model stock car racing next year, especially <laughs> in the Cars Tour. Yeah, the Cars Tour, that's going to be a superstar on our hands. Uh, to add to an already impressive list of superstars on that tour, arguably the best late model stock racing in the country is on the cars tour and um i'll tell you what that's that's incredible right there also he's going to go for the virginia triple crown next year as well with this lee pulliam team congratulations everyone thanks so much we did it! Yay! South Carolina 400 Florence Motor Speedway winners. Whoop, whoop. Lead point performance brought us a bad and bone car. We were able to work our way up, get the lead with, I don't know, 15 to go, and had a lot of late restarts there. Felt like it took an hour to run 10 laps, but so we were able to win. Another Crown Jewel event. We got the check, and I don't know where it's all at. It's in your back. We had no phone service at the track. A trophy. Yeah, we had no phone service at the track. None at all. And it was hectic after the race, so we didn't get much. Well, we'll get some video from the flow broadcast, but. I got well, all of Victory Lane. We party till four in the morning, and now we're on the way home, four and a half hours, back to the 7x7. 
and we're gonna get some food. I haven't ate since yesterday at like two o'clock, and it is 10:13 on Sunday, the day before my birthday. So um, I don't know. I'm just blessed. Sleep for my performance. Brought a bat in the bone car, and uh, Lee's the man. Yeah, Nick Hutchins, Kenyon, Kevin, Kevin. Dave. Doug. We love Kevin. Matt. Bunch of Ch Jimmy, Marshall, Dooley, all these people I've just met. I'm still learning their names. They were uh, all a big part of us winning this race. Leanne. We love Leanne. Yeah, it was just an amazing weekend. LPP, baby. Yeah.